Welcome to this tutorial. Today we are exploring the Chaos Cutter feature in 3ds Max V-Ray. This tool enables you to randomly distribute objects in your scene. I'm using a scene from our previous video, how to create realistic fog scene in 3ds Max V-Ray find a link in the corner and in the description. To start, go to the command panel, geometry, standard primitives and select chaos scatter. Create the object in your scene. First, Pick the surface where you want the plants to scatter. Then add the plants as instanced objects. I've got plant models ready for use. You can add them manually or from a list. Create a selection first. Type in the selection name and uh, press on enter. And go back to Chaos Cutter and pick that selection from the list. For some basic settings to make the plants look more natural, go to the transformation tab and set the normal versus Z value to 1. You can also change how the scatter is displayed in the viewport. I prefer point cloud view. Begin interactive rendering. Let me increase the number of distributed objects. I'll bump it up to around a thousand. Let me adjust my camera view to a more interesting angle. I've also reduced the number of distributed objects to 600. To make the scatter look more natural, use the transformations panel. Start by randomizing the position across all axes. Then you can add rotation, randomization, especially full rotation on the Z axis. You can also vary the scale of your plants. For example, set a minimum scale and increase the maximum a bit for better variation. Remember all this is optional for me. I just leave uh, all the units as is, as default. If you want to control how often certain plants appear, you can adjust their frequency. Let's say you want uh, fewer of a particular plant. Just select that object and lower its frequency value. You can customize this per object depending on the look you're going for.
if you want to manually edit the plants click edit instances and uh, now you can move scale or rotate individual plants manually let's uh, try it out and make a few small tweaks I'm okay with, uh, with this for the final composition I'll now unhide the rest of the items in the scene the idea with the chaos scatter is not to overdo it use it to just complement your overall scene Thanks for watching this uh, video tutorial, as always, please thumbs up the video, it really helps. Subscribe and let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or suggestions or which areas you need clarification on.